flame of hope flickers as the wind howls down from the mountain. To make this journey, you'll need companions. Let's meet them at the crossroads. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Loki Oren, and this video is part of a series of videos where I am looking at all of the hero paths for each character in Darkest Dungeon 2. Today, we're looking at the Grave Robber. I'll double the dose, just to be sure. So you like Blight, but your Plague Doctor is off trying to help the leper stitch his arm back on? Well, good news. The Grave Robber is here for you. Venom Drop significantly changes how the Grave Robber functions by trading away her range damage for increased Blight generation and mobility. In addition to that, she also gains an extra 2 Blight dealt when she is in stealth. But that comes at the price, so to speak, of minus 3 speed. Now, the speed debuff is noticeable. However, the Grave Robber is already one of the faster characters in Darkest Dungeon 2, so the speed debuff really just takes her from the front of the pack to somewhere in the middle. Looking at her skill changes here, uh, the first place to start is her movement skills, Lunge, Pirouette, and Shadow Fade. Lunge and Shadow Fade, it's all upside. They both gain a self buff of 30% Blight Resistance Piercing. Shadow Fade has the added benefit of placing the, the Venom Drop into Stealth, which then lets her deal even more Blight. Pirouette gets kind of a side grade as its damage is reduced, but it does gain the Blight Resistance Piercing buff. So maybe a wash there. But this is where the money gets made. Poison Dart and Flashing Daggers are going to be your core skills for Venom Drop. Poison Dart, again, kind of gets a side grade as its damage is reduced slightly. However, it benefits greatly from the stealth, the stealth buff increasing Blight Delt and has always just been a very good skill that can hit all ranks. Flashing Daggers, though, is the real winner of Venom Drop as it goes from a skill whose primary use case is really removing tokens or maybe pinging Death's Door when you need to hit the middle ranks, to a monstrous dealer of Blight-Fueled Death. Flashing Daggers, as a Venom Drop, deals as much Blight as Poison Dart, but does it to both ranks 2 and 3, and when coming out of stealth, deals even more. It's worth noting that Throne Dagger and Glint in the Dark get kind of nerfed here, as both receive damage decreases, though, much like we've talked about with other hero paths, that's not to say they still don't have their uses. Thrown Dagger still pierces guarded and ignores dodge when stealthed. And Glint in the Dark still ignores stealth and can ignore debuff or death blow resistance. Finally, Dead of Night and Absinthe are unchanged. However, Dead of Night gets an improvement here as entering stealth is the main thing the Venom Drop wants to be doing in order to really amp up the Blight generation, and Dead of Night is a great skill to do that. Absinthe remains a great, a great way to heal and a defensive cooldown, effectively. 